What's up guys? It's that time of the week again. It's time for NBTC24 and I am here for you guys. I am Mikey Reyes. Unfortunately, Keeper Ravenna cannot join me today. But later on, I will be joined by another explosive guard from the PBA. We'll talk all about him or we'll talk to him later on. But it's week 11. So 11 times that I've seen you and 11 times we've had top 24 players from the NCAA really just showcase their talents and play for their respective schools. And make all of us proud and excited of what the future holds for these high school players. So, for today's episode, like I said, we'll have a guest. We'll talk to him. We'll ask him what his, uh, what's up with him today. I mean, with uh, the season going on, what's been going on. And uh, we'll get to know more about him. in Pasnia, where he came from in high school, college. And then we'll see what he can impart to our high school players. After that, we're going to play a game with him as usual. Every week, our players go through a very intense game that they are challenged off the court. After that, we will reveal our top 24 players for week 11 of our NCAA edition here on NBTC24. My guest will also help me out with that. We'll recap all the games, all the exciting games that went through, uh, that went on this past week. And of course, our favorite segment, Keeper's favorite segment, our top five plays of the week. So, an exciting episode for you guys. Hopefully, you can tune in. Hopefully, you can stay with me. Again, I am Mike Chris, and this is NBTC24. So, first off, update muna natin ano ba ang sa basketball world here in the Philippines at least this past week. Of course, our UAAP is still ongoing. And finally, natuloy ang mga games natin last week ng Wednesday, of course, Saturday and Sunday. And di na tayo na bagyo. So, hopefully also, yung mga na-affect ng bagyong ompong, everyone's fine, everyone has recovered. And we can continue enjoying our basketball. In the NCAA, um, crucial moments are starting to come in. Of course, the latter portion of our season is upon us. And every single game is very, very important for our teams as they all vie for a final four spot. But before we move on, of course, we will talk about also that Gila's win, that big Gila's win against Qatar. But before we move on, I want to bring in my guest because, Shempre, since we're going to talk about the PBA and what... Um, and these players that are representing the country right now. Sha, yun may nakakaalam kasi hindi ko naman alam, hindi ko naman nakakalaban yang mga yan. So, please uh, allow me to welcome. Um, so, he was formerly from San Francisco. Uh, he played for Cebuana, he played for You know what? I'll, I'll let them introduce himself to you guys. Please welcome from the Alaska Aces, we have Simon and Ciso. <laughs> Thank you for having me. For sure. Thank you for coming. So, Sai. Um, what's up? What's up with you? When's your next game? Uh, we play Friday. Play against Blackwater, yeah. who's been playing really well. So I'm excited to get back on the court and um, get back on the court and compete again. How long has it been since your last one? Uh, so they had the long break because yeah. of Gila. So you haven't so, played since? Yeah. It's for like been, three weeks? Yeah, about three, three weeks. weeks. Excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. And you've, been, you've been killing before the Gila's break, and how, how's that going for you? Uh, you know, just staying in the gym, trying to stay consistent, and uh, just getting ready. Uh, you know, as, as a team member of Alaska, you know, you, you always gotta be ready and, and um, uh, in shape yeah. to, you know, play the way we play. So, sure. uh, definitely just going through practice and uh, working hard. That's very, very good, Sai. So, like what I was saying, we wanna talk about the, that Gila's win, and I'm sure you know that, <clears throat> you, you watch, I mean, we didn't watch the it's closed door, but right. I'm sure you've got, up, got yeah, an update. I um, yeah. uh, want to talk about Alex Cabognos, who scored 16 points in that mm -hmm. game. So now that these players have a chance to like show up, show off, what can you say about these guys like Alex, Marshall? Um, <coughs> definitely two two great guys to you know uh, represent our country. You know, even in the PBA, uh, San Miguel Berman is sure. super tough to. <laughs> To go up against, uh, especially with Marcio and Alex shooting the lights out, you know, um, that game I think we were we struggling oh, from yeah, the we three point line, but uh, you know Alex hit a couple 
uh, mid range jumpers that really got us going. Yeah. And, and, and Marci too. Yeah, exactly. And Marcio, yeah, Matthew Wright, who was my former teammate. Yeah. They, they all can shoot. And I feel like, you know, with, with our bigs and, you know, especially when we get Jumar back and, and Greg and Jappet, you know, they're going to make sure, you know, that paint is going to be sucked in. So we need, we need shooters uh, surrounded around them. Uh, you know, and I feel like. With those guys, it, it makes us more versatile. Yeah. So, so this is, of course, MBDC 24, and these are all about <clears> the high school kids. Right. What was it like being in high school? Uh, where'd you go from high school, my bad? I went to Terranova High School in Pacifica, which is about 10 to 15 minutes away from the city yeah. of San Francisco. So that was more of, that was your preparation for the college game. Exactly. How did you prepare yourself, both physically and mentally? Because those are what our players are doing right now, trying right. to get to that college level. Um, so in college, man, I, I was just really such a student of the game. I would literally be on YouTube just, you know, what is Kyrie doing? What is, what is, what is, the, what is the next, you know, best point guard in the, in the NBA doing? And, and I remember watching a video on Kyrie and he would dribble the ball with a plastic, with a plastic bag. bag yeah. <laughs> so I used to bring a basketball everywhere I go. And he used to put it in a plastic bag and people look at me so, like super different. Mm -hmm. and. But that's what got me better, you know, is just being a student in the game and, and really, uh, you know, um, honing my skills and being in the gym or being at the park till the, till the street lights come off, you know. So um, if I could give advice to those high school players, just, you know, really just hone your skills and, and, and stay in the gym, be a gym rat and, and uh, you know, learn as much as you can. Learn from your elders, learn from the people who, who set the path for you, you know what I mean? And, and that was the biggest thing for me. I would, I would really take the advice of the older guys that I've met throughout my career and, and really, uh, you know, take their advice and, and apply it to my game. So one thing I know about Simon is he's a certified hooper, like what he said. He's <laughs> a student of the game. He's just really trying to get better every single day. And because you're a certified hooper, we will make you go through an intense game off the court. So we'll, <laughs> let's do that right now. So for your game today, what we will do is I will blindfold you. Okay. So you have no, you have darkness, and I will make you feel something within your, the palm of your hands, and you're gonna have to guess what it is. It's gonna be very, very exciting. Right. This is our, this is the first time that we're gonna do this. We're not gonna mess with you though. We're not gonna make you be like. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be gonna be scared for a second. We're not gonna mess with you. It's a, it's Sunday right now. We're not gonna mess with you. So here we go. Size blindfold on. All right. You don't see nothing. You ain't gonna cheat us, right? No, I'm not cheat a cheater. Okay. I'm competitive though. Alright, here we go. First item. <clears throat> Alright. It's a teddy bear? No. It's a stuffed toy. It's a stuffed, yeah, it's a, some type of stuffed animal. I think it's. <laughs> you gotta know who it is though. You gotta guess who it is. Uh, he's known though, he's known. He's known? Pretty popular. Is he? Is he from Kermit Sesame the Frog? Street? Is he from Sesame Street? Oh, he's from Sesame Street. Oh, this is a uh, Cookie Monster. <laughs> All this right. Cookie Monster, okay. Yeah. All right, one oh. Nice yeah. One oh, one oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. For this one, you gotta use one hand. Okay, my fault, my fault. Okay, this one, use one hand. Let me use my right one. Okay. Come on, guys. I need this on the airplane. Hey, I see you. I see you. you know what I mean? right, we gotta make it tougher for this guy. Yeah. Okay, I see you. All right. One hand. One hand. One hand. Here we go. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, usually I got one of these on my arm. Is this a knee sleeve? <laughs> Damn, this is, this is pretty good. It's a knee sleeve, right? And CISO for three. You know? And CISO for three. <laughs> one, one hand. One hand, one hand. Pre wrap? <laughs> what is this? It's pre wrap. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm nice. All right, next item. Side. Is it one hand? Yeah, one hand. All right. Snap back. Okay. You gotta guess what it is, though. Like the logo up front. Oh, that's right. tough. Let me just show everyone else. All right. That's tough. Oh, you gotta know this. Okay, I gotta trim it down a little bit. Local. Um, local. It's a team. It's a team. Local team. To Alaska. 
<laughs> I had to trim it down a little bit. Is it a lot? Yeah, it is. It is. Hey. You got that right. All right. Hey. Next. You guys try to throw a curveball at me. Next up. Let's see. Ooh. Really? This is a plastic chicken? <laughs> this is a plastic chicks to go? <laughs> oh! Are you serious though? How does he know all this? Oh, nice. I told you. Ooh. What is this? Yo. I think the headband's like. There's a hole on the headband. Are these nunchucks? What are these? <laughs> You gotta be like carrots with a chain on. Uh, <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right. Last. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Is this fresh or, or slim milk? Is this Alaska fresh or slim? You gotta, milk? you gotta guess if it's slim or fresh. All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I get this like every three months, so hold on, let me see. I'm gonna go with my gut feeling and say it's fresh. Finally, you get it wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh man. The what Jordan, else we got? What else we got? Jordan Shrug. <laughs> I'm really nice at this game. Oh, she ain't gonna guess this. Come on, this is, <laughs> this is my favorite, yo. Can I open it? What is that? This is a mango steam. What is this? <laughs> what is this? You guys are trying to play. What is this a band aid? <laughs> it ain't used, don't worry about it. Is, is this a pad? Oh my god, oh, you got me touching the pad, man. Come on. I told you I'm a competitor. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. You're a sneaker head, right? Yeah, sneaker head, right? All right. Oh, you gotta tell me what it is. This is Adidas Boots. Man. So the first one is Adidas. This is definitely Jordan. This Man. Is, this is the, I wanna say the 13s. Yeah, these are the 13s. I can feel that, I, I know I see. I see, sorry. All right, this one. This is probably, this is the Nike. Uh, oh, 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 these are the these are the Kobe nines, the high top. And they, they're Kili, right, I gotta they're give Kili it to the ones. guy. I gotta give it to the guy. Yeah. All right. Oh, geez. What are those? Oh, <laughs> he don't wear these, bro. Oh, he doesn't man. wear these. Are these Adidas? Nah, 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 nah. No. Okay, these are eight sticks or something. <laughs> Some volleyball shoes? <laughs> I know Coach Eric got volleyball players in his house. <laughs> these are some volleyball shoes? Alright. Blindfold off. Oh, yeah, that's man. some UAs, bro. That's oh, bro. Man, you got me with the OGs. No you got, way, you got, you got man. One, I'm mad I didn't get that. You got one off, though. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight out of nine. For Mr. Simon and Cesar, congratulations. Yeah, I don't sir. know how we got it, but he did. I guess you're really ready to play on Friday. I mean, you know, shout out to Titan. Uh, there we go. Shout out to Coach Jeff. Coach Jeff, Badge, Titan, uh, PJ, Ben. Everyone, everyone, sir. Sir DT. Sir DT. For sure. Flex on. Everyone out there. So, there you go. Very intense game for Mr. Simon and Cesar, but he aced it. He was... It was pretty easy for my guy. Compete, gotta compete. Every but day. the next thing though, we're gonna reveal our top 24 players for this. week 11 of our NCAA edition here on NBTC 24. And that's when we're gonna challenge it because I don't think he watches high school basketball. Let's see, it might surprise you. And now for our weekly reveal, these are your top 24 players for week 11 of our NCAA edition here on NBTC 24. And those are your top 24 players in the NCAA. Let's not forget our guys from Cebu. Of course, here are your top 24 players for week four of our Sasafi edition.
And there you have it, our top 24 players, both in the NCAA and the Sasafi edition. Congratulations Congrats. to our 48 players who made it this week. There you go. Can you say, I mean, a lot of potential? A lot of potential. I mean, I can definitely see a lot of their games transferring into the PBS. Oh, yeah, you already know. Of course, they're all preparing for college. And hopefully, you know, they, they reach you. I mean, that's your maybe your 10th yeah. year. Right, right. 10th, 12th yeah. year in the league. God willing. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But, all right, so I heard that you've, uh, our number one player for this week is Joel Capelao, of course, okay. from the Greenies. And uh, you told me that you, you watched him a couple times. This yeah. guy can really just do it all. This guy, this guy just won the brought LaSalle their first ever championship in the nice. NCAA last season. And he won it finals MVP too. He can score, he can rebound, he's a leader, he can assist. What can you say about guys like this? I mean you were I mean you still are obviously you're you're one of them point guards who can like play both ends. Right, right, right. What can right. you say about these guys? Um Definitely, definitely. I mean, that, that's what I pretty much pride myself in my game is to play both ends, and I feel like this guy can can do that as well. So, um, to be honest, I feel like he, he can fit he can fit in our system. Yeah. He's just press, you know. He's he's fast. He's shifty. It's true. He makes good decisions. So, uh, if I could talk to him, you know, I, I would just say, you know, keep keep that keep that basketball hunger and keep working. Yeah. So, Joel, if you're listening. But like what I was telling you earlier, before the Gila's break, you were really on a scoring tear. Right. Now we move on over to our number five player for this week. I mean, he's like him and Joel right now are like the top two point guards right now. We can't really like define who's the top. Right. So it's like top two always, one uh, A and one B. Clint Escam is from the Poor Red Robins. Him, he's like. He can just flat out score the basketball. Okay. He can score the basketball. So what's that mindset that you have being now that you're kinda in that offensive mode? Like right. You're really right. like just I don't I don't think you see any shot you don't like right now. Right. You don't like right now. <laughs> so what's that mindset that you have that you can impart to Clint Descamis? Um for me, the biggest thing for me when I do get in those modes is to to have a short term memory. Okay. Because uh, you know, you're gonna miss shots, you're gonna make mistakes, it's gonna happen. But you can't let that affect your killer mentality. You know, you got to be a killer when you're out there. Like, like you said, some of the shots, it feels like I don't see a bad shot out there. But in my mind, I'm still playing the game. I'm still, you know, out there doing our schemes, doing yeah. doing what the team needs me to do. And and um, yeah, if I can talk to him as well, just from being a scorer, is just keep your killer mentality. You always take advantage of the opportunity, and and just remember that you're blessed to be playing this game. And yeah, just be a killer out there, man. <laughs> and end of the day, it's all about the team. I mean, it's not you looking for your points. Exactly. It's you just really contributing to the exactly. team's points. And I think that's and the biggest the, thing. And in that, you get those wins. Yeah, you, you get those wins. You get sometimes, sometimes, sometimes these kids um, fall into that trap of like individual. I mean, of course, I mean, it's, it's, it's normal. It's, it's normal it's when you're media, young, you know, for sure. Especially now with social exactly, media exactly. Uh, booming. So. I think it's it's slowly they're gonna mature and they're gonna realize that when you start winning, that's when everyone's exactly. talk about you, and especially exactly. in the college level. So we can expect these guys to be in their college, um, to be in their own colleges in a few years. I mean, Joel already um, uh, committed to De La Salle. Oh, nice. So okay. Joel's gonna play for the Archers next year. Cool, cool. It's gonna be good for him. He's gonna be playing alongside a couple of vets, and Aljun Melesh is gonna be there, and and Milesh, Karab yeah. is gonna be there. So. Very, very exciting times ahead for these players. But right now, we will look back, okay, at week 11 and what happened. All the exciting games and all the, the crucial moments. Of course, like we said, it's the latter portion of our elimination round in the NCAA. So these are, this is our weekly recap for NBTC 24 NCAA edition week 11. Yes, indeed. We are now in week number 11 of our NBTC weekly recap. So let's get right on into it. First game, CSB versus Mapua. Let's start off with some defense. Why don't we get that out of here? Sanko for CSB had a big night with a double-double. How about Joel Kagulangan up and under? We know he can do that. Nice move. And on to the other end, Don Arches up. Jump with me, lay. He had a game high, 23 points. They upset Benil, the favorite. 93 to 87, Mapua. Next up, we got Perpetual versus Arellano. Let's start it off, fast break. Catching the alley-oop, Esdel Galoy. 
Man, he had 10 points and 16 rebounds. Talk about productivity. Fast break again, this time for the blue. AU, Espiritu. Coast to coast. Bucket with the left. Nice one. And they win this one 70 to 66. AU, led by Hunsai and Sunga with 12 points apiece. Next up, San Sebastian versus JRU. How about Thomas Vasquez catching a nice outlet pass baseball feed for the easy one. San Sebastian's turn for a highlight. Gomez, tray ball, corner, pocket. Winner of this one is San Sebastian, 56 to 51. Milo Hanau, Mr. Big Shot, 19 points to lead his squad. Moving on, San Beta versus Ayak. Adrian Baloa for Ayak. Spin cycle. Got him. Bank. I meant to do that. Fourth quarter. Ooh, one foot off the glass. That's nice. Cyrus Lorena sealing the deal for Beta to win this one. Final score 80 to 71 led by Kayoka with 18 points. Let's go. Let's go. What's next? Latron versus Mapua. Jonah Policarpio, baby cross to the hard cross, peep the change of direction, and with the icing on the cake with the finish. Now peep this highlight for Latron. Freeze him! Hezzy game is strong! Oh my gosh. It's number five, Andre Domenes. Nice move, but it wasn't enough to get them the win. 69-66 in favor of Mapua. Next matchup, CSB versus Ariano. Let's talk about this kid, Joel Kagulangan. Euro step, mm, butter with the reverse. He had a big night, I'll talk about it in a bit. AU, Trey Ball, bang off balance, good. By John Recto. 14 point win by LaSalle Green Hills. And to round it off for week number 11, Perpetual versus LPU. Let's start it off with perps. Jab step, Trey Ball, high arcing, it's good. Okay, baby, good shot. For LPU now, John Barba putting someone already on the floor. In and out. Oh my goodness, come here. Whole team trying to guard him, not enough. I eat those. I eat defenders. Guadagna and Barba both had 16 points to lead their squad to a four point victory over Pert 78 74. And that wraps up our week number 11 weekly recap. And that was week 11. A lot of good games, a lot of exciting, exciting plays, plays right. a lot of um, teams, you know, vying, for, like, again, uh, they're vying for their final four spots. Right. Uh, we're in the last month, I think, last Crucial couple plays. of weeks. So right. every Crucial single games. game right now is very, very important for our N NCAA teams. And talking about plays, Kiefer of is not here. This is his favorite segment of the show, and it's our mm. tradition side so okay. that the guest We'll introduce <coughs> this segment. So Simon and Cecil from the Alaska Aces, <coughs> take <coughs> it away. All right, guys. This is your NBTC 24 Top 5 Plays of the Week. Bang, 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 bang. Dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da. All right, here we go. Top 5 Plays of the Week, your favorite segment. Let's get into it. At number 5, Enid for Nilo says, give me that. Get that out of here. For Nilos with a rejection, authority, not in my house. And at number four from Ayat, Grip Brawl coming off the screen, freeze him, show me a nice hezzy one hand dish. Grip Brawl from Ayat with a dime, with a hezzy. I love it. At number three, Galman from Perpetual. Check it off the double team. Behind, where you going? And one with the contact. Replay, please. Skirt, where you going? And the easy finish with contact. Oh my goodness. Barba, rebound. He just goes through the whole team here. It had to be number two. Cross, bang. There's a strong shoulder right there. In and out. Where in the world are you going? Double jump, that's nothing. I eat those. John Barba going coast to coast, making it look like a walk in the park for that bucket. And here we go, number one play of the week. First step super quick, change of speed, reach is not there. Over and under, windmill type layup. Peep it one more time. Up with the right, easy under with the left. Wow, that is an elite finish. Simple but tricky with it. 
for the number one play of week number 11 of your NVTC top five plays of the week. Exciting games, call Crazy for exciting plays. plays. Right. Right? I mean, it, just, it, it gets better every week. So I, like, it gets better. The handles, shots, that's what, that's what it's defense. all about. It's all about progression. Uh, clutch, the clutch gene. The clutch gene? The clutch gene. A lot of clutch. Bro, that's like, like, a lot of these high school players that's have you. You already. Clutch. Clutch. I don't want to talk to him right now. <laughs> Change the topic right away. But that, that is, uh, those were our top five plays of the week. I'm sure Kiefer Ravenna enjoyed that also as you are watching. I know you're watching, Keith, so you got a message for Kiefer? Kiefer, man, I miss you, dog. <laughs> I thought I wish you were here with me. That's exactly what we are all wishing. I'm sure all the viewers also. But next week, he's going to be back. But that's week 11, and we would like to thank, of course, Mr. Simon and CISO Sai. Next games, you know, anything uh, you want? Next game is uh, Friday, 20... 25 tomorrow, so 28. 28. Sorry, can I do that over? 28. <laughs> no, it's fine. 28th. Uh, on the 28th. On the 28th. Yeah. You guys Where's come that? out. Smart Araneta. Uh, Blackwater. Blackwater Elite. They're yeah. playing really well, so it should be a good fight. Yeah. That's going to be exciting. Uh, I mean, exciting game. I mean, you're going to be matched up against Paul. Uh, uh, Paul. Paul was your teammate, too. Yeah. Paul Zamar. Uh, Mike. Mike Gregorio. Mike's going to be right. there. So. Henry exciting. Walker. He used to play for Alaska. Oh, yeah. so. oh okay. Can't wait. Can't wow. wait for that game. It's going to be a big game. Hope to see you guys yeah. there. A lot of storylines. For that next game, Simon and exactly. C. So any messages? I mean, to your viewers, to your or, or uh, the high school people, no? high school man, high school. all the high school players. Like I said, man, I just want to, you know, encourage you guys to be students of the game and really take in all the advice you can from from all the top guys that you guys encounter and stay in the gym, stay hungry, and stay humble. Oh yeah, it's a process. Everyone knows that. So of course, just stay the stay. Stay the stay, course. Yep, stay the course. You know, enjoy the grind. Enjoy. But, but first, thank you very much to Chooks to Go. Thank you very much to Boss Ronald, the Boss Melmap. Thank you, Chooks, for What's up, Pian? Wolong sauce. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> also, thank you to Rebel Sports for the apparel, and the apparel and the mugs. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook right here. It's going to come on right here, right here. There you go. YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch all the episodes, past episodes and future episodes because this is only week 11. Talking about processes, this is going to be a process. For it's sure. week 11. We're going to go all the way through. Man, this is going to... Uh, national finals is on, like, it's in March. That's, so that's a lot that's of time. It's a lot of yeah, time right. for you guys to get to know these high school players. Again, thank you. Thank you guys for Simon having me. And CISO, I am Mike Kires. This is NBTC24. This was week 11, and we'll see you next week for see week 12. Guys.